Well, hello there, folks, and a very warm welcome, as usual, back to What's For Tea and this week's wheat recipe. And I hope that I find you very well indeed. So thanks for coming over. And today I made a batch of these traditional Abernethy creams. Abernethy is a village in Perthshire here in Scotland. I've made an orange butter cream to give me more of a sandwich style biscuit, but typically they're eaten, you know, without the sandwich filling, just as they are, nice and plain. So this is everything that I've used here, but as usual I will put it on the screen as we go and you will find all of the ingredients down below in the description box so just in case you want to write anything down all the weights and measurements will be down there so first of all we're going to do the biscuits and then we're going to move on and do this delicious orangey velvety filling as well I am going to use my food processor if you've got one I recommend using this it's going to make it really simple and much quicker so pop your flour in and then the baking powder and then to this I'm going to add my whole caraway seeds you don't want to use ground caraway seeds you do want the whole caraway seeds and then some very cold butter and very cold lard you can use all butter if you prefer but it's just going to give your biscuits a slightly different texture to this I'm going to add some caster sugar let this mix away until it resembles wet sand or fine breadcrumbs whatever you like to call it but it should be looking something like this it should be nicely combined and quite crumbly to this we're going to add one medium egg that's a large egg if you're in the US or Canada and again you want to give this a wee mix just to let the egg incorporate into your breadcrumb mixture and it'll all start to clump together so we will want to loosen this up just with a wee bit of milk so pop a couple of tablespoons of milk in and then your dough inside will start to form a ball just like this and then you are ready to move on it should be looking something like this it should be a nice wet dough but it shouldn't be overly sticky you know it shouldn't be sticking to your hands too much so this is ideal flour your surface and then get your ball out onto your surface you want to flatten this down make sure you're using plenty of flour because this will be very sticky and just roll out your dough till a couple of millimeters thickness two or three millimeters thickness because don't forget we are going to double these biscuits up so you don't want them too thick I am using a five centimeter cutter and you'll get about 12 or 13 sandwich biscuits from your dough so you know it does make quite a lot of biscuits get this onto your baking trays and you want to refrigerate this for about 15 minutes because this will prevent your biscuits spreading out too much you know as they bake in the oven and becoming too thin so do let these chill for about 15 minutes and then you can bake them in the oven for about 15 minutes you don't want them too dark they should just starting to color around the edge and slightly on the top these are quite a pale biscuit so don't worry if you think they're undercooked they should look something like this so let those cool while you're waiting on those cool and they don't take long because they're quite thin you can do your buttercream filling so you want to beat your butter on its own for about five minutes until it goes pale and fluffy just like this it will lighten up a good bit and then you can move on I'm going to add the icing sugar or powdered sugar and then a wee bit of vanilla as well just a half teaspoon of vanilla just to give it a wee bit of extra sweetness and then the zest of half an orange my orange was quite big and then a wee splash of milk as well. I'm going to give this a wee mix with my spatula just so that it doesn't go flying everywhere when I put the, the mixer in. Let this go for about another five minutes and it will go nice and pale and fluffy just like this. And this stuff is lovely. It's so velvety and orangey. All you have to do now is match up both sides of your biscuit, put a good dollop of your cream in the middle and just squash both halves together to encourage the cream to the edge. So easy. These are lovely firm biscuits and they've got a nice snap to them. Have a wee listen. They're very similar in texture to McVitie's tea biscuits, you know, the rich tea biscuits. If you've ever tried those, you know, they are nice and firm with a lovely snap. So do give them a go. They are really tasty and, as I said in the beginning, very traditional. So thank you so much for watching and a huge thank you, as usual, to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page, to the channel members here on YouTube as well, for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those that have 
have bought me a coffee using the buy me a coffee link it's all very much appreciated and for those that share the videos as well and I will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe video or shopping haul on Saturday or on Sunday for our family meals of the week but whenever you choose to join me again have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you off us soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.